Yo, what is up everyone? Zach here bringing another Team Taste game of the day. You want taste? Today on the left we have Zach playing Galissapod Evolutions, and on the right we have Josh playing Mega Ray. And now my name's messed up right now, so I'm going to try to keep them straight. <laughs> um, so Zach's just going to go ahead, draw, play Wimpod down, and just pass. Not looking like he has too hot of a hand. And now Josh is going to Ultra Ball. Probably go find that Hoopa and start doing Mega Ray things. Um, Zach's playing a new Galispod deck. Um, playing two EVs, a Jolteon, Flareon, and Vaporeon. I'm still not sure what's all necessary there, but um, the Jolteon helps against Mega Ray, obviously, but that's the bigger one. And then Flareon against other Galispod decks and Decidueye decks, and Vaporeon against Volcanion, all of which I think are going to be pretty popular decks at. Uh, worlds but josh gonna go ahead hoopa for shaman rayquaza and magirina um mega rays maybe not getting that much from the new set but i think it's gonna get a couple of good matchups back something like uh the guard four and uh volcanian so josh gonna go ahead set up looking for that spirit link and mega ray looks like he has a spirit link who has a mega ray and then gonna set up Gonna grab some more cards. Um, play down that Oranguru. Now all he needs is a Mega Turbo and the energy in the discard. <laughs> um, Josh gonna grab that Lele, finding himself a Sycamore. Now his chances seem to be getting slimmer and slimmer of hitting that turn one Emerald Break. He needs that. Uh, Basically an Ultra Ball, Energy, and a Mega Turbo in this next hand coming up. So let's see if he can get there. Ooh, and he's discarding a Mega Turbo, so he only has two left. I see the Energy. Not sure what else I saw. But looks like he's just going to pass. Let's see if Zach got anything helpful for him. He's going to evolve up into the Glissopod. Going to play down a Forest. <laughs> That's really just going to limit Josh's bench right now. And gonna pass. Doesn't hit it. Ooh. So J Josh gonna go ahead and attach the metal energy. Zach's gonna take a little peek at some cheating. Um, <laughs> Josh gonna Emerald Break. Not looking too hot for Zach. Uh, Zach's just gonna bridge it. Finally top deck something useful. Probably gonna grab a couple Wimpods. Maybe an Eevee. Maybe not. Who knows. Let's see. Two Wimpods. Gonna go for the third one. And... He's not going to grab anything, maybe? Nope, just two Wimpods. <laughs> Looks like his deck's probably not looking all that good right now. Not really uh, going too hot for him. But he's going to attach a double colorless and then use Glisspod's GX attack, 150, and switch to the bench. So going to sacrifice that poor little Wimpod. So Josh going to Kuki. Looks like he doesn't really have anything else going for him. Now... If Zach can return knockout right here, it's going to put Josh in a weird position. He doesn't have any Mega Ray set up, but looks like he has like 12 cards in his hand or something like that. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Zach's just going to go ahead, take the knockout, using a Glissapod second attack. Reduces, I think, 20 damage coming back. So let's see if Josh can set up that Mega Ray. I know he threw away another uh, Spirit Link earlier in the game, so trying to find one might be a little difficult. Josh gonna go ahead, rescue stretcher, three Pokemon back, Mega Ray, Brickwise the Shaman. And All right, let's see if Josh can dig any farther. Ooh, he's got Sigmar just going to throw away everything. That Ultra Ball is not really going to help him out at all. So if he would have had a Skyfield, he would have been good to go. But alas, didn't hit it. Ooh, he does have the Spirit Link, but does he have the Rayquaza and the Mega Turbo? It doesn't, so looks like he's just going to pass. So Zach's going to go ahead, play that Wimpod down, revitalize for another Wimpod. Ooh, Zach got a Lele, probably from the prizes. So he's going to Wonder Tag, probably grabbing an N or a Sycamore, something to help him draw up. Um, maybe he's looking for some sort of Guzma. 
Wouldn't think so. Zach probably needs to set up a lot more. Yep. Zach's going to grab that on. He only gets four off it because he took that knockout on the Mega Ray, but Josh only gets four off it too, so he's fine. <laughs> um, this is going to be uh, weird for Josh. Ooh, he did get the Sky Field, but doesn't really have much else, I think. He'll be able to uh, a Ranguru for something, probably. <laughs> so Josh is going to play down the Rayquaza, play the double color list, so he's pretty... Uh, Oh, he's just going to go ahead and intensifying burn for 10. Maybe he feels like Zach can't return knockout here. Um, Zach's going to Kakui, which is going to leave him just short on the knockout. Because he didn't get that uh, switch in this turn. So, yep. Um, how much does Kalispod's second attack do? Um, but anyways, hits him for 150. Yep, because it's 100 plus a 30 from the Troy Spain and 20 from the Kukui. So, Josh finds the Shaman, so he's good to go. Gonna Mega Evolve, Mega Turbo. Um, let's see if he can fill up his bench more to take that one hit. Gonna attach an energy to Magirna, just because. Looks like he's gonna probably special charge. Yep, shuffle that. Double colorless back in. Um, uh, the armor press, Glisspod's attack, reduces all damage by 20. He has 210, so he's going to need a... Josh needs a full bench of 8 to take the knockout. He's going to Mallow. Ooh, that should get it for him. Because he can take any two cards, put them on duos. Uh, the top of the deck, and then he can or Orin Guru for the two cards, basically. Um, probably grabbing like a Hoopa or I don't know actually. Uh, Shaman, that makes sense. <laughs> so he's gonna set up, grabbing himself some more cards. Now, if Zach has any way to respond to the KO against the Mega Ray, he'll be in. Josh will be in trouble now that he doesn't have any uh. Spirit Link's left. So, Zach's going to go ahead and attach to the Gliss Pod via Seeker for an N. Ooh, and I don't think that's going to be enough for Zach. He only gets three off this. So, not sure if he can find any way. He needs to find a Forest. I think that's the only way. And he only finds Sycamore and Energies. So, yep. Zach's just going to scoop it up. Going to use First Impression for 30, but that really doesn't do anything. So, that uh, Eevee getting knocked out early on really hurt Zach, but yep, sorry for the technical difficulties. Hopefully all that gets edited out. I'll do my magic, but uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. Uh, remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit me up with any questions you have. Uh, later.